All right, guys, now that we're back here, we're getting ready to do the, um, the um, Cadex Vista, right? So I'm going to go ahead and let me just make this screen a little bit bigger here so we can fit more of the parts on. And then at the same time, I'm going to move the quad out of the way. And I'd like you to follow me in this one. Just clean up the bench as best as you can. Now, a lot of the stuff you see here on mine, this is silicone that is dried, so I can't get it off some of these marks. Um, but I can get all these small pieces of silicone that I cut from the wires. Just get them off. Um, usually, I'll bring in the vacuum and vacuum the bench as well but right now i'm not going to worry about it because there's not that much uh, debris on here but it is nice to make sure that you have i mean i'll just get the room but to clean it up off the floor here in just a minute so just make sure your bench is clean and ready to go before we keep moving on all right so we're about to about to handle the most expensive part of this build which is going to be the vista right so you need to be very careful when you do this pay close attention to what i'm doing um and and just just follow along as best as you can um, and remember guys you can pause these videos at any time so please do so if you're confused uh, or if something you know if, if it seems like I'm going too fast I mean when you can pause a video it shouldn't really be an issue so please just go with the pace that you're comfortable with I'm gonna save this because I'll be using this again these alcohol wipes are not cheap so let me just go ahead and save this in here because we'll use it again in just a little bit all right so with all the debris off the table and everything clean and ready to go let's get our Cadex Vista here we go and if you did request that you have something other than the Nano V2, that's fine. Just follow along. It'll be the exact same, pretty much the same steps no matter what. So I'm going to move our drone over to here real quickly. And I'm going to put the Vista down here and see if I can get open this thing because it always gives me a hassle. And I don't have the patience for it, but let's see if we got it. Nope. Okay, fine. So my, my patience is thinning already. All right, there we go. Okay, instructions right here. Very good. Pay attention to them, please. Um, and then here's our Vista. Okay, the camera. Here's our antenna. Oh, these ones come with the antennas. Oh, that's cool. Well, then never mind. I didn't realize these ones did. Some of them don't. Some of them do. So I guess I don't need to use that other antenna. All right. Um, okay, so here's what we're going to do here. This piece, I don't know why I put this on. This piece right here will not be used. So you can just put that aside. This will be. That's the, that's the bracket for your camera to make it go from 14 to 19 mil. There's your cables and there's your uh, camera lens cover. Let's go ahead and put that there. All right, everything else for right now, you can just take and put back in the box. I'll leave your instructions here so you can pay attention to those. So here's the deal. Right? They give you this Vista with the intention of you being able to plug it into a flight controller and not have to do any soldering. Yeah, that's great, but that's not what we're doing. So you have two options here. You could, you could keep this cable and do your own wiring like I do here where I grab my own set of wires, or you can just cut the end off this cable right here and tin these. No matter which one you do, the next steps are going to be the same, okay? So let me just explain to you how this is going to work. I tend to, I don't cut these plugs off, I save them, and I have a bunch of small wire to use for myself, okay? So what you're going to have, and I'll see if I can match this for you. Well, actually, you know what, for yours, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to cut it so we're using the same stuff, all right? So here's what we're going to do. We're going to cut this so that this Vista, so it fits on this board, all right? But before we cut it, let's just see what we're going to be using. So let's go over the wiring diagram, okay? So look at your colors here. Red is to go to right here on your board, which is the plus right next to your main battery. This black will go to this little pad here, which is the negative next to your XT30 as well. Okay. This yellow right here is going to go to your TX3 up here. This white is gonna to go to the RX3 right here, okay? This yellow, this is what bothers me about the colors they've picked. I mean, you don't have a yellow and a yellow, but hey, you know what, that's what they did. This yellow will go to your S bus right here, and this black will go to the ground right here, okay? So follow along with me as I do this because these wires are super long, all right? And they're gonna to need to be cut at some point. One thing that I wanna point out before we get started is, the way I flew this on mine is I mounted the battery on the top, okay? If you want to mount your battery on the bottom, then you are not gonna run the wires underneath the flight controller like I'm about to do. You will actually run the wires over the flight controller. I don't recommend it, all right, because this is a very tight fit. 
So I would rather leave it. So I'm gonna run these underneath and it's very simple. I'm just basically going to do it like this. Wherever I'm gonna to go to the front, I'm gonna run the wires underneath. The black and the red don't go, but the rest of these four will, okay? So you will take these four wires and run them underneath, and you will take these two and just run them directly, all right? So here's how we're gonna do this. We're gonna take the yellow and the white, and we're gonna just kind of twist those together so that we know that those two stay together because there's another yellow in this mix and we don't wanna get them confused, right? And we're gonna take this yellow and black and we're gonna twist those together, just like that, all right? There you go, excellent. Now, run them just like that and just feed them under the flight controller. So just kinda like this, and I'll show you, just kinda feed them in the center, down there, you can lift the flight controller up a little bit if you're having a hard time getting it there. But slowly you'll start seeing them come out this side, all right? Now if they start veering off, just get your tweezers and grab them. But here's the, here's the S-Bus one, and then there's the other one. Let me just kind of, it's kind of coming out on this side, so let me just kind of push it back through. And then I'll grab it with the tweezers, and I should be able to get it. There we go, okay? Now, get it away from this white plug right there, because the white plug will actually touch the frame, so you don't want them going underneath that, okay? And there you go. So now that you've got the wire underneath, now don't worry about length just yet. All we care about right now is getting these soldered, okay? So now you can untwist the ends there. All right, we'll start with the, we'll start with the S bus and the ground, okay? So take your soldering iron. And these wires are already pre-tinned from the factory. I just always add a little bit of extra solder to them. So you can if you want to, or you don't have to. I do because the melting point of the solder I use is really awesome. So it just makes it go on quicker for me. But here's what we're going to do. We're going to come around and we're going to basically just turn it and solder it right there. Very easy solder. It doesn't take any effort at all. Then we're going to take the ground and we're going to do the same thing. Okay. Right there. And we're done. That takes care of these. And let me, I'll zoom in to show you what that looks like real quickly. Okay. So your black and your yellow that were together. Just solder right there and right there. And that's it, all right? Now, let's go to the TX and the RX. Let's zoom out. It's raining, so I don't know if you guys can hear the rain hitting, but anyways. Okay, so for the TX and the RX, remember now, if you look at the plug here, the yellow is gonna go to the TX and the white will go to the RX on RX3 and TX3. So let's go ahead and plan for that. So we're gonna take, uh, we said the uh, yellow will go to the TX3. And so what we're gonna do is, let's start with the white first. So we're gonna to go to the white, and we're gonna solder that to the RX3. So that's gonna be pad number three if you're going from the left. Perfect, okay? And the yellow will go to the TX3, which is pad number four if you're counting from the left. Perfect, okay? And you can now see what these look like. So here is your, here's your wiring, here's your pad. Now. Remember, I do not want the wire to go under this, this clip here because this clip is gonna to touch the um, carbon fiber and it's gonna, it'll pin the wire. So you can, I mean, if your wiring like, has like gone like mine and kind of crossed over, that's fine. But what you wanna do is just make sure that you separate it so that it's not underneath this clip, okay? That clip needs to be clear and you can look right under here. There's your clip there. You don't want any of the wire underneath any portion of that because when you tighten this down, that clip will rest on the, on the thing. Once you do that, you can just gently pull the wire back and feed it through so that you get it all tucked away nice and neat. And now it is crossed over, which I don't really like it. Let me zoom out here so I can show you what I'm doing. Okay, ideally, what I would like to see is I would like to see the wire, the white and the, and the yellow go down on this side and the black and the yellow go down on that side, okay? So keep them on the same sides if you can, just, just like the same side that they're soldered on and look. Once you do that and you pull it through, look at how clean that looks now, okay? Let me zoom back in and you can't see anything now. All you can see is the solder point, right? You can't see anything else. And I'm gonna actually put some silicone on this to make sure that these are stuck on really well, but that's the idea is to keep it nice and clean, okay? And I'll show you how the silicone's gonna work even though you don't have to have any for this build, I always use it. All right, now, as far as this goes, let me see here. I can 
you can do a couple options here. You can pull this from the center and feed it through the XT30 if you want. All right. It's, it's, it's kind of your choice as to how you want to organize your wiring. So if I do that just like this, all right, I should have no problem at all. Everything goes right down the center without any problems. Okay. And then let's look around here. Let's make sure everything looks pretty clean, and it does. Nothing's going to be, uh, nothing's going to be, you, you just want to make sure that nothing is getting pinned to the bottom of the frame at all. And it looks, it looks pretty clean here, okay? So once you're done with that, get all lined up. Because what we're going to end up doing is we're going to end up cutting the wire, because so, this is very long. And the, and the Vista is actually going to sit right here. And there's going to be the, the rubber spacers there, but it's going to sit right there. So these wires don't need to be that long, okay? Once we get to this point here, what we're going to do is we're going to measure up these wires, and let's just take them to the top of the, um, the, top of the screws here, okay? So if you were to just pull these up, okay, just like this, and I'll lean it sideways for you, just kind of stretch it to the top of the screw right there, and that's going to be our spot to cut. And this is only for these ones right here, right? Okay. So we can cut these two, these, these four, all right? And then we'll just come back and solder the other one. So let's just cut that right there. And there we go. Now, we still have our red and their black. You're more than welcome to cut those if you'd like. But one thing I want to point out is they're just going to go from here up. So let's go ahead and get these wires untwisted. Okay, but make sure you keep in mind to keep them separated. Remember, red, yellow and black is S bus and ground, white and black is TX and RX, okay? So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna prep these wires up. So let's strip them. It's not, a, you don't need a lot, I can promise you that, you don't need a lot of wire, so just strip a little portion of it. One, and then two. Okay, and you can keep those together. And then we'll do three and four here. All right, and now I'm just going to go ahead and use the flux paste, and I'll just save myself the hassle. I'm just going to put this piece of paper right here, and I can flux them just like that. Okay, no need to go crazy on this, and then I'll flux the black and the yellow on this side. Okay, excellent. Now, we're going to, like I said, keep, make sure to keep them together so you know which yellow is which, and we're going to go ahead and twist these, and we'll tin them accordingly. Okay. Black and yellow on this side, and then the white and the yellow on this side here. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just take this piece of paper and put it right here. If you're comfortable with that, I mean, it shouldn't be a problem. All you wanna do is just make sure that you catch any of the solder that may fall. So we're just gonna tin these up. One, two, three, four. Okay, make sure that ground, I want to make sure I got a good ground there. Let me check that. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Now, let's look at our Vista, okay? This is our Vista here. And if you look at it, it's actually going to sit like this with the USB up. But what we're going to do is we're going to solder it upside down. So get it to fit on your 20 by 20s, just like that, upside down, okay? And the reason we're doing upside down is because here's all the pads that you're going to be attaching to. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to tin the hair. I'll tilt this up just a little bit. See all those pads right here, right? So one, two, three, they're all here. All right. So go ahead and prep that up with your stuff there. And then let's pre-tin it real quickly. And all we're going to do is we're going to go over it and we're just going to put a little bit of solder on the pads. So what I'll, as a matter of fact, let me do it like this. Let me show you what the before and after should look like. So let me get you the, um, let me get you the screen here real quick. There we go. So this is the before. Let me focus here. Okay, there's your pads right now. And what you can see here is this is your battery positive, battery ground. This is your uh, this is going to the TX. This is going to the RX. So you can see it says RX right there, which means that's the receiving end going to the transmitting. This is the transmitting and the TX going to the RX side. This is your ground and your S bus. So what we want to do is we want to go tin these up real quick. So let's see if I can do this while you see it on camera here real quick. I'll try to do it. I'll try to do it like that, and maybe it'll. Be all right, now I'm going to do all six of the pads. Ready? So here we go one, two, three, four, five, 
and six. Now look at it. Now they're all tinned. I mean, this is ready. Let me see if I can focus it a little bit more and stop shaking my hands. There you go. That's what it should look like. You've got everything tinned and ready to go. So now we're gonna do, and I'll, again, I will try to do this under the microscope here so that you can see it happen. Uh, we're gonna start from the end, the farthest end, okay, which is gonna be right, and I don't know if I can prop this up or not. Um, so maybe I can put something under it maybe so you can see as I'm soldering it exactly what I'm doing. Bear with me a second, let me see. Okay, if that's gonna hold, that'll be great. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with where it says S bus. And remember, you have the black wire, these ones right here, the black and the yellow, right, that were together, okay? So we're gonna take the yellow wire that was with the black wire and we're gonna go to the S bus pad. So let me show you that's good. Now this may rock a little bit because I have nothing holding this drone in place. We're gonna go just like that. Let me clean the, the tip off here. And there we go, okay? Then we're gonna take that ground that was next to it And we're gonna put that in there next. Okay, and there we go. I don't know if you can see that. Let me see if I get the light a little bit brighter, maybe. There, uh, maybe you can see that, maybe not. I don't know if that's helping or not, but. Okay, so there's the black wire, you can, okay? Now, what we've got next is we've got the yellow and the white, so I'm gonna bring those through, because you can see them right here. I want them on this side, though. All right, so let me bring those over. Okay, and just remember, here's the plug that we started with, right? So we're gonna stay in that order. So if you had yellow and black, which is right, let me go twist these and I'll show you. So we had yellow and black on the plug, then we had white and yellow. So you're gonna go in the same order, white and yellow. So let's take the white wire. I have to turn this a little bit so that I can uh, reach it properly. So we're gonna take the white wire there you just try to arrange this so that it stays still. I apologize. Let's take the white wire. I'm going to solder that right there. All right, so if I can do that without this drone moving. Okay. Oh, no, I don't like that at all. Hold on. I need to put my better glasses on here so I can see. Okay, so the white wire's in. And now we're gonna take the yellow. And put the yellow on. There you go, I wanna have as least amount of exposed uh, wire as possible. Okay, so the only things left now are gonna be the ground and the voltage, right? So here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna take this out for a second, get it off of the microscope here. Let's put it back on the table. Okay, so what we have to do now is we can now lift this back off, just lay it on its side for a little bit, and we need to get the black wire and the red wire soldered to the board where it belongs, right? So let me show you what that's gonna look like here. So we're just gonna take the black wire and solder it there. red wire and solder it right next to it right here okay and let me show you that under the microscope there you go so we've got the black and the red so this is now the ground that's going to be going to our Vista and this is the positive that's going to our Vista okay and so now what we're gonna do is we are going to take the Vista, and I'm gonna keep going back and forth between these two right now. Take the Vista and we're gonna put it back upside down, just like it was when we were soldering everything. Okay, so just get it to fit over those screws again, just like that, all right? And now we're just gonna take the wire and we're gonna give ourselves about as much wire as we have uh, because we have to lift this up, right? So. Uh, to turn it back over because it's upside down right now. So let's just give ourselves um, I don't know if I was to measure it Let me get the ruler here 
I mean, use your judgment on this one, but if I was to measure it, I'd say, um, I'd say at least 20 millimeters. So I'm gonna cut it right about here. So I guess take it to the end of the capacitor, that's fair. Go to the end of the capacitor, okay? And then what you wanna do is you wanna go ahead and just do the same thing like we did on the other ones. Go ahead and strip them and tin them and, and, and then use them. There's one, there's two. Let me put this underneath, get my flux pin. Okay, twist it up. All right, and now I'm just gonna tin the wires real quickly. Okay, so here we go. Perfect. Okay, now, these wires are kind of long, but for the power and ground, I'm not too worried about it. So what I'm gonna do is we'll go back under the microscope so you guys can watch this. Hopefully this will stay still. So let's go back here. Let's see if we can get this. Okay, and let's focus. There, all right. Here comes the rain, man. It's falling. It's going to be falling pretty hard today. All right, we're going to take the ground. I don't think I'm going to cut this ground wire. I think it'll be okay at that length, but let's just see what we got, okay? The ground went on very well. All right, and I think I'm going to leave the power wire the same length as well. Actually, that one's just a little long. I don't know. Ground, I don't mind because everything around this thing is ground. But this one, I do mind. And when I cut it, I'm going to make sure to lift that off the table because I don't want any of those small wires getting in our motors. All right, so we're going to take that. And put it right on there. And we're golden. And at this point, if you look at that, we've got all of our wires done. <coughs> now, here's where I'm going to do something different than most people. I am actually going to apply black silicone here. Uh, to to uh, make these wires to protect them really well. So I'm gonna go over mine and you're gonna see how this is gonna look. Some people may choose to do this, others may not, that's your choice. But I really have come to use the heck out of this and we sell it, we have it on the website. So if you're interested in it, let me know. All right, so that's what the wires will look like now. They'll be nice and siliconed and uh, protected, all right? Um, I think there's a couple little spots that I missed, so let me put my glasses back on here. Okay, there we go. All right, now, let me get out of this screen and let's get back to the regular. Okay, and what we're gonna do now is, now that we're done and we've wired this Vista, all we have to do is Let's get the microscope out of the way. All we have to do now is just lift the Vista up, okay? And we're gonna turn it over, which is gonna basically twist the wires around a little bit. And we're gonna line it back up and push it down. And you see how it would fit? All right, so before we get ready to finalize that, I wanna check all the rest of my wiring. So I'm gonna lay this out, okay? And I'm gonna go over the rest of my wiring with the silicone as well. Again, that's my, that's my preference. Um, so let me do that real quickly. Okay.
And one last area I'm going to put it is right here. Because this particular USB was known in the past to rip right off the board. So I want to try to protect it as much as possible. And there you go. So now that's done, I'm just going to clean this real quickly so I don't get it all over everything. And then I will close this up here. And if you're ever doing this and using this, here's what I recommend is you get yourself a set of push pins, right? And the push pin will go right down into that. You gotta have good eyes though. There you go, just like that. And it should keep it from drying out too quickly, although it still will dry out eventually. All right, but whatever you do, don't get it on your hands and stuff because it's a pain to get off. And if you get it on your material, as you can see on my workbench, it doesn't come off, okay? It just, I mean, it's, it's, you'll be killing yourself trying to get it off. All right, so we've now siliconed everything. Now what we want to do, let's zoom back out. Okay, let's get our soldering stuff out of the way. Now what we want to do is we want to go ahead and put in three rubber standoffs. Or sorry, three rubber spacers right here. One, right, one, two, three, oops. You got fat fingers like me, it's kind of difficult, but oh well. Oh, see, I got some of that silicone on me now. <clears throat> gotta get it off. See how it's, it's on me and it's gonna rub on everything I touch now. So I gotta make sure I get this off before it gets too much there we go it's already getting um, all the stuff here all right well, that sucker shot right off the bench one two three and then one two that one just went flying so now i have to find it real quick okay. I fell in my jacket or something. Oh well, let me grab it out right here. Three. Okay. Perfect. Once we put those down, let's just go ahead and take our Vista, turn it over, and just place it right on top. And what you're going to notice is now, look how nice your wires look. Okay, they're all in place. They're perfect length. Everything on here is set exactly right. Now, here's the cool part. You will not fasten this down. The way I designed this frame was that once you put the top plate on, this will fit with those screws going straight through the top plate right here, okay? So do not worry about putting a fastener on here because you won't need it. You just clean up the silicone right here. My God, I don't know where it's attached to, but it's on me somewhere. And guys, that is it for this portion. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna come in and get the camera ready and close everything up. So I'll be right back with that set.